Do you ever find yourself doing something you told yourself you weren't going to do and think, wow, I fucking suck? Well, you probably do, and maybe it's finally time to just give up. I mean, life is hard enough as it is, so why waste another second struggling to improve yourself when you can quickly and easily join the legions of worthless, feeble-minded geniuses who have discovered that the secret to an easy life is in a single word, which I will share at the end of this video, which is a complete six-step guide on how you can transform from someone doing their best to improve their life into the weakest, most pathetic piece of garbage you could ever possibly dream of. Step one, understand the real reason you're broke. If you're broke, it could be for a nearly infinite number of reasons, excluding, of course, the possibility that it's your fault. It's most likely because of the limited opportunity in your city or even country, uh, despite the nearly endless ocean of job opportunities that exist online, most of which only require a basic laptop and stable internet connection to get started. But how could anyone in their right mind honestly expect you to know how to get started? I mean, despite a nearly endless ocean of free online resources detailing how to get started and make money in virtually every online profession, what you need and deserve is an actual mentor who can hold your hand and guide you. And yes, I've seen the hundreds of messages you guys have sent me asking if I would be willing to be your mentor in exchange for your extremely valuable gratitude. And if I say that I can't or don't respond, it's nuts because I'm busy running a business, making YouTube videos, starting a family, or trying to win a Colombian national title in boxing. It's because I'm racist. Step two. Blame, ageism, sexism, and definitely racism, ideally all three. Listen, as a business owner with over 50 employees, I can tell you firsthand that I would be out of business and probably living on the street and eating out of garbage cans if I hired people based on the merit of their abilities. Because businesses can't afford to care about profit. What we really care about are these three things. The first is what age you are. Why would a business care about the actual skills you possess or the impressive things you've accomplished when you are clearly a young person with no future upside? The second is what sex you are. Please, the last thing I need is some intelligent, hardworking woman to distract my 100% male workforce. The third, and definitely the most important, is what country you or your ancestors are from. Who cares if you've designed hundreds of websites or written hundreds or thousands of lines of code? What really matters is that you're not white, because we have diversity quotas to hit. Step three, accept that which you cannot change, i.e. your weight and physical appearance. So let's start with the obvious. If you're overweight or ugly, then you already understand firsthand that these things are completely out of your control. Popular YouTubers are always bringing up the law of thermodynamics, that it's not possible to store more calories than the ones we consume. But this has already been debunked so many times, not by scientists or nutrition experts, but by the masses of people who claim that despite eating only lettuce and cucumbers that they still somehow can't lose weight. They're obviously telling the truth. And there are so many obvious paradoxes when it comes to improving your physical appearance. If you're out of shape, how are you supposed to have enough energy to work out and get in shape? How are you supposed to get in a car and go to a gym when you are a car? How are you supposed to dress better or change your hairstyle when you are a car? Step four, stop dating because you'll never get who you deserve. Women don't give a shit about how much confidence you have from all the impressive things you've done, how much pride you take in your appearance, or the absolute fucking gauntlet of trials and tribulation that you've survived to be able to achieve financial success. What they really care about is how much money you have and how tall you are. Take me for example. I don't have enough money to buy any of the high status things that we know women flock to because I waste all of my money investing in myself and in investments. And I'm only five foot six, which is a little known fact that I've had to painstakingly hide from the hundreds of beautiful women that I've been with. Last year, I finally just gave up on dating and decided to settle down with Jabba the Slut. <laughs> She's vile, repulsive, and I literally hate everything about her. But with a few more surgeries, I'm hopeful we can get her to the point where I don't immediately vomit or break down in tears after she forces herself on me. Step five, embrace failure, then quit. We've all heard the famous quote, 
Talent always beats hard work, even and especially if talent fails to work hard. Everyone that is ahead of us in life got there not because they worked hard, but because of God-given talents or luck, both of which we'll never have. Henry Ford famously said, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. What I've learned is that when we fail and then immediately give up, we never have to experience the pain of failure again. Thomas Alva Edison famously said, I have not failed, I have found 10,000 ways that don't work. Now, when I fail, there is only one way, I don't work. If you don't try, you can't fail. It really is that simple. Step six, maintain healthy levels of jealousy. When we see others who have either achieved or obtained those things that we're striving for, a Lamborghini, a Rolex, or a dinosaur skeleton, it's completely natural for us to experience feelings of jealousy. What's not natural is for us to then closely examine these feelings, realize that we're only jealous of others because we want the things they have for ourselves, which then causes us to see ourselves in them, which then causes us to experience jealousy in a way where we feel happy when people around us succeed because we now see ourselves succeeding. Again, not only is this not natural, but this also requires effort, our sworn enemy. What is natural and requires no effort is to simply blindly react to jealousy. We should have those things that everyone else has period. And it's only because we don't have a mentor or because of where we live, our age, race, sex, weight, physical body composition, deficiency of money, short stature, and lack of God-given talents that we don't have those things. All right, guys. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the secret to effortlessly being a weak, pathetic piece of garbage is hidden in one single word that millions of people across the world have already discovered. And that word is comfort. Now, here's the thing. The art of comfort involves both physical and mental. The physical part is easy. Find the most comfortable place you could, recreate the most comfortable sensation you could possibly experience, and then just do that all day. The mental part is a tiny bit more involved. Basically, what you wanna to try to do is remain as mentally comfortable as possible, which unfortunately means that you will have to use a tiny amount of energy to violently reject anything that even remotely threatens to make you uncomfortable. So for example, if someone even mildly implies that you should take any sort of accountability for your life, or tries to challenge you with ideas that aren't 100% consistent with the extremely narrow and superior reality that you've carefully woven for yourself, don't engage them with rational, energy-wasting type conversation. Instead, fiercely remind them that they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about, and then immediately shut your brain off until they leave so that you can conserve what little energy you have remaining. If this video helped you to understand how to truly manifest all that is worthless within you, please click the like button. If you watched this entire video by accident and for some weird reason what you actually want is to improve your life, check out this video over here. Or visit nelsonquest.com to download Dark Mode, a life transformation system consisting of seven core principles that you should completely ignore. You can download it for free, making it yet one more free online resource that you'll never use. This is not the path. <laughs>